Her chihuahuas in the fucking shed, but <laughs> nobody answered. He calls it the bungalow. Motherfucker, that's a shed. <laughs> it's a chicken shed or a chicken bungalow? <laughs> it keeps them warm, right? Uh, I, I don't think he fucking sleeps out there in the winter. So is this your old neighborhood? No, no, no. I never lived over here. No, I was West Haven, New Haven, and North Haven. Hamden just with uh, Anna and Justine. I don't think you really knew Anna. What part of West Haven? Um, by the lumber yard. First half. Oh yeah, that's not. Yeah, that's not. Right off uh, the highway. It's called uh, Richard Street. Richard Street. I know Richard Street. Everybody uses it as a cutover. Yeah, it wraps around to uh, Washington. And you live down there? Yeah. That's where uh, my grandparents lived. In a multi-family house, so everybody had a floor. Are we recording? We are recording. All right. <laughs> this is the Mr. New Haven show. And where are we heading today? I don't know where we're heading. <laughs> we're just driving around. Well, so this is my guest, Matt. We'll, uh, we'll put your name on the screen. Put six. You wanna go, you want, you want your screen name or do you want your, you know what your No, you can do Matt Six on Facebook. And this, hey, hey, go, come here. He's got a shadow back there. <laughs> come here. Partner in crime. Oh, Grifter's been up there. We already it's said hi Grifter, to Grifter the Hound, Signor at <laughs> Facebook.com. He's got his own page? Yep. What is it? Grifter the Hound, Signor. Spell it. S I G N O R E. Yes, sir. Grifter the Hound Signal. Contact us if you ever need a lost dog tracked. Oh, yeah. Matt, Matt, you're good at that. So tell me what happened with the uh, with the other one. I know you were in the middle of one and then you got discouraged. The Foster? Is that the one I think it was in Bethany? And then there was like too many perker bushes you were through. Oh, through. the track. But did yeah. you go back? Did you go back? Yeah, we went back. And you found them? Um, yes, we did. It uh, took a while, but we found them. That's good stuff. He found them. Um, he found his way to somebody's house. Uh, and they held on to him. And we found him, went to it. He tracked right to their backyard. So they were taking care of him? Yeah. So do you do a lot of, lo a, a lot of lost dogs? You know, lost cats, lost dogs. No, we don't do cats because no cats. No, because they not? they climb. Oh. And they, they tend to run away. No, can you tell if something got got eaten? Like I thought about that because like if you oh, can't have, find something, maybe it's gone. Maybe they eat it. You I have pieces, right? Found fur and we found frozen dogs. Oh man. Yeah, it's it it, it hurts. And then one day we're on a track, and two 
coyotes got us in a field. Oh shit! And he. What do you mean got you? They like circled us and started growling, and he destroyed one. A coyote? Is yeah. that a coyote? Yeah, it was about 50 pounds. He's about 95 pounds, 100 pounds. He threw it in the air, and the other one took off. <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty, pretty amazing to see. That's good stuff. You wish you had your camera going for that. <laughs> Yeah, I, I should have a GoPro. Yeah, I have to get a new one, but this iPhone works for now. The cameras are pretty good. It's good resolution. It's like 14K still. Yeah. It's like the GoPros are up there. Wait, what, which one is that? Um, I don't know. Is that I think 11? The, I don't know. I forget the numbers. I lost count. I'm still so on 8. It's between <laughs> a, which one are they on now? Uh, like 13, 14. Hold on. I don't even know, man. I think it might be a 13, but aren't they past the 13? I, I, don't, I really don't care, as long as mine works. Remember. I have to look it up, it's inside somewhere, it says that. I don't want to work just to own a phone. So I could turn it around like that, you know, just have to mush it together while we're editing. They had this thing in the paper and I tried to do a clip for the website, I don't know if you've seen it or not. But you know that, uh, Connecticut has the worst traffic in the country. Well, yeah, the 95 between New York and yeah, that's what they were saying. That's in the Boston, it's the busiest trip. road in the world. Well, between they said, I think they said exit 14 and, and Greenwich, Connecticut, is like the worst in the country. Both well, lanes, and the same thing up to Fairfield going on uh, the Parkway. But we filled on the back roads too. This is Dixwell Avenue right now. We're in Hamden, right? Or is this the Hamden? This is uh, just turn into New Haven. Just turn into New Haven. Dixwell and Thompson Street. Yep, Dixwell and Harding Place. But yeah, I can mush that together. So we're just at a red light, as you can see. And that's, it's pretty much bleeds into all the back roads and the main roads, too. Yeah. Dixwell Avenue, and it's 11.20 in the afternoon. It's not even the afternoon yet. And like, people are at school, people are supposed to be at work, supposed to be at school. Um, I don't know if they're out on lunch trotting around the city right now. Why, you know, it only gets worse later. Hey, I worked last night, people work nights. So what are these guys doing? They're out shopping? I'll show uh, podcasts. Probably not. <laughs> I used to be a very judgmental guy, I kind of gave it up. Just go with the flow these days. That's, there's a sign out there, there's some kind of new construction. Yeah, I don't know, that used to be a barbecue spot. Yeah. They That's had a like a trailer and picnic tables. I'm surprised they don't set up over here on the left. There's room but right? that lot's been empty for 10 years at least. Are we going straight? Yeah, we're going, we're going through the ghetto. This is what Munson and Henry and Dixwell. Yeah, over there, Science Park. Science Park is to the left for sure. We're gonna get a view of the construction site at least. Probably apartments, right? I'm sure. Uh, I couldn't read the sign. Yeah, I'm assuming it's gonna be a condo complex. This is what, we're gonna be on Henry Street? Uh, Henry towards Wilbur Cross. right in front of him. What high school did you go to? North Haven. North Haven High? Yeah. Shout out to North Haven High. Where are they? North Haven High Dragons. We used to be the Indians. I don't know what uh, they are now. I bet you they're not anymore. <laughs> kind of a lazy queen. What do you think they are now? I don't even know. Hill House High School. 
that's the field house. Oh, it's Hill House, not Wilbur Cross. Sorry, guys. Hill House High School. James Hill House High School. Wilbur Cross is in East Rock. What's the matter, boy? What's your matter? <laughs> Green light. Yeah, you need to stay there. Because <laughs> you're in your essence, man. When you make fun of people, you're funny. <laughs> That's what you do best. How come you never did a uh, like stand-up routine? I don't know. Stage fright, probably. You got stage fright? I don't know. It's all got to be spur of the moment to me, so. Humor? Yeah, I couldn't just, like, have a written act, I don't think. You ever been to the skate park here? Yep. Hundreds, hundreds, hundreds. Are you a skater or a biker? Skater. skater. Hundreds of times. My boys did all the graffiti. Nobody's skating today. Well, a couple of people. It's cold as fuck. I don't blame them. You gonna take them to the bathroom? Yeah. In the market. There's a dog park over there. Let's go. That, I don't like to go in. It's usually mud. It's a nice dog, bro. Nice. Yes. What's your name? Chris. Skated last month. It's tough until I get my hip surgery. Oh, there's a dog over there. That's why he's crying. All right, let's go. Over. Go to the dog park. Yeah, come on, buddy. This way. This is how we do. And those two rivers over there, the West River. Which leads right to uh, the bridge over 95. West Haven. You ever go to that place over there? What place? Meow Haven. No, what is it? It's a, you just hang out with kids. Kids? <laughs> <Yeah>. Meow Haven? <laughs> Mew, Mew Haven, I think it's called. <laughs> yeah, they have rooms 
actual kittens that are up for adoption and you pay a fee and you get like a half hour or whatever. To hang play out. with kittens? Yeah. I always cheat. I rub catnip on myself. <laughs> <laughs> what, you went there before? Yeah, I mean, just team went there. How much is it? For like I don't even remember, remember, dude. I couldn't even tell. Can't rub it. There's also a... Uh, <laughs> There's also a coffee shop owned by them attached to it. Oh man, there's not here in the coffee, is there? No, 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 it's a separate building. You gotta go out and in another door. Alright, good. Yeah, so, so uh, we're on the road again. Where are we going again? You don't want to say? We're going to your distributor. We're going to the dispensary. <laughs> What is today? Today is what, February 2nd? Yes. It's Groundhog Day. Groundhog Day. <laughs> oh, man. Six more weeks of winter. Six more weeks. I heard about that. We didn't even get winter, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, I heard tomorrow's supposed to be cold. Really cold. What's really cold? I think they said in the teens. I'm just, uh, you know, I'm a little off because we wait until February. February. We had an easy winter. Yeah. During here, right here. After this the, corner? Yeah, right after, after Burger King. Day. The driveway right after Burger King. Hey man, we're looking for sponsors for the show. Definitely need some sponsors. Uber, Lyft. You know, this is probably going to be the only episode I throw some companies out there by name. Dunkin' Donuts, because I'm always... Drinking some coffee, our Starbucks, even if you want to throw a little cup in there, sponsor the show. And thank you to 203 Attorney, we appreciate you. 203 A T T O R N E in the New Haven, Connecticut area for all your legal advice, referrals, and help. And uh, and we go here often enough, giving people a ride. I mean, you guys don't need any help, but if the dispensary ever wants to sponsor us, we take a sponsorship from them. Um, who else? I can't really think. Geico, Progressive, if you want to help sponsor us <laughs> with a car, we'll appreciate that. I use Progressive. You use Progressive? <laughs> yep. Do you like Progressive? Uh, yeah, they've always been good to me. They've been good to them, so, you know, <laughs> we're looking for sponsors for the show. We're going to take a commercial break. This is my boy Matt Siggs, grifter in the background over there, <laughs> and uh, we're going to go get our stuff at the dispensary, and we'll be right back. Any last words? Nope. He says, peace out. Let's do it. Yeah. Smells good. <laughs> I got a lot of different places to try, man. Oh, you drink Sprite? Yes, I do. Thank I got you a Sprite. I have a Coca-Cola in my book bag, so I'm all set. All right, what do you want to eat? Um, I don't know. We got the world famous. There's a show in there. I have to go like this. Yeah, Party's yeah. Pizza. West Haven, Connecticut. Me and Matt are going to be doing a taste test in the car. I just came out of the oven. Um, where do you want to go? I don't know. You tell go me. Go up man. straight. We'll go. Um, do you know where the boat ramp is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll go to the truck right around the corner. Mm. Yes. We're not trying to do like pizza every single episode, but when you live in New Haven, shit happens. <laughs> and then that requires a pizza. Sure. We're pretty lucky, you know that? Yeah, we are. Somebody said Brooklyn pizza is the same thing. They should have just left it in the oven a little bit longer. What do you think? Uh, you know, I don't have any experience with Brooklyn pizza. Yo, me neither. But I think most people are talking about. I think they just mentioned it because it's Brooklyn, right? Probably. It's more on the map. It's all hipster. No place.
plates, man. We're missing the plates. <laughs> We're gonna have to rough it. So I don't know, Matt. What do you want to talk about? Like, what's your favorite part of New Haven? What, what do you think about when somebody says New Haven? You think about the crime? <laughs> no. Uh, it's always been skateboarding for me. Skateboarding? Yeah. It's always been the walls, the ledges, the stairs, uh, the green, just hanging out. Hanging out at the green. Everybody knows the green for sure. I should have went that way. Bungalow Lane in West Haven. We're gonna eat at the uh, the West Haven boat the boat ramp. Be a nice view. That's always a nice view down there. They're not that far. Even down here would have been a cool spot. Oh, yeah. I didn't realize that was a speedboat. Well, I don't know if you realize it's another one. I got that one. Alright, where is it? It's over here, right? Yeah. Yep. There's the ship plant. Ship plant? Ship plant. S-H-I-T? Yeah, it's a sewage plant. Oh, that's why it smells <laughs> over here. These guys got so much money over here on the shore. You think so? Yeah. That's got to be a nice house. They have a nice view. They we launched cool. a boat over all, here all the time to go crabbing and fishing. And some of those mansions are ridiculous. on a street I forget what street it was it was like a Trumbull Street in West Haven or uh, Holcomb Street or something like that well, there's a couple of streets next door so they're all kind of similar and they all go down towards the sound and you can see the water so you can go down to the end of the street and it tells you where you can park or where you can't park and you know you could watch the sunset which is what I was doing and I had these these, these people come out and it was like a neighborhood association and they were like so pissed that I was there. They wanted a permit. Oh, they HOA. Wanted, yeah, you need a permit to park here, and, and they actually. Call but it you're not parked if you're in the car. I don't know what to tell them, man. <laughs> I don't know what to tell them. But they were very um, territorial about their dead end street. Yeah, I get it. Water. It's like a private neighborhood. Fuck them. All right, you ready? I am ready. Pick whatever one you want, man. You go first. They cut them small, huh? They cut them fat. Yeah, they sure do. That's nice. Do you think we're on a diet? <laughs> Grifter, I don't know, man. I'm not responsible for you. I bet you your daddy will feed you that. Yeah, I'll yeah. give you a bone. You don't have to wait, but... You don't put it all the way. Look. Grip. Look. Really Look. <laughs> oh, tell us the page again. Uh, Grifter the Hound Signor on Facebook. On Facebook. Grifter the Hound Signor. Because we deleted that, I think. We didn't go through with that because the dog park was closed. Mm -hmm. mm. So he's, he's looking for some fans. Grifter the Hound Signor. S I G N O R E on Facebook. Lost dog and lost deer tracking. Mm. Oh, cool. This is a good picture, right? So these are the bones. You call them pizza bones? I do too, yeah. And can I give them a pizza bone? Uh -huh. Does that have to be cool? Oh. Huh? All right. But this doesn't mean the more you beg, the more you're going to get. This is just a little treat from Uncle Tom here, buddy. Grifter the Hound Signor. Mm hmm Now, you, Matt, you were telling me you are... You are an active board member at the Hamden Dog Park? Yes, sir. You may have as many pieces as you want. And do they have a website, or you said just Google them? No, it's they have a Facebook site. It's Hamden Dog Park. <laughs> Don't be shy, man. The Hamden Dog Park. How often do you go to the Hamden Dog Park? I say at least five times a week. Damn. So that's definitely your hobby. Well, it's good for him. They don't have the char that most people talk about. No, not much. 
Just a little bit. We have to get them on a Friday night, right? I don't know. I don't really care about the char. <laughs> I don't mind the char. What I hate is the big bubbles. I can't complain about the big bubbles. They're crunchy. <laughs> but there's nothing in them. It's just a big bubble of boring. Yeah. <laughs> it's like an extra piece of crunchy crust for me. Sometimes the bubbles are cheesy. Wow. You should flip that. To the scenery? Yeah, look at that seagulls. <laughs> Might want you to look at the seagulls. <laughs> Still recording? No, we're not. Now we are. That's the seagulls. Oh, mm, seagull taking a bath. <laughs> Can you see him? Oh, you can see him on camera. That's a good angle. What kind of, what is that, a power plant? That's the one on the I don't know what's right? going on over there. Yeah, I think the windmill's over there. Oh, it fell off, damn it. That's <laughs> some famous New Haven pizza right there, guys. Be shitting all over your that car. was perfect. <laughs> oh, you seen that? No, close up shit. It <laughs> I don't know if I'm sharing with these motherfuckers. <laughs> Look at him mad dogging me. <laughs> all right, here goes another one, guys. You ready? Oh, John, you can just roll your window down. Hmm? You can just roll your window down. Oh. There's this place I heard, I seen it online in some pizza group. Shout out to that pizza group online. I forget your name, I'm sorry. I'll have to put it in the description. You're better than Barstool Pizza. And. I think it's in Wolcott, some new place in Wolcott, and I forget the size of it. It's like 36 inches. Oh, it's like a challenge? It's a challenge, and two people, and if two people could eat it in an hour, I think it's free. You think you could eat a pizza in an hour? 18 inches of pizza? No. Really? No. <laughs> I think it's like a large pie a person. Right? 18 mm -hmm. inches and 18 mm -hmm. inches? Not happening. And how long? In an hour? Mm hmm Yeah. An hour. Tell me when you had enough. You want a big piece? I'm going to call this one Brooklyn style. Because <laughs> it's so fat you can fold it like a sandwich. <laughs> That's the only thing I know about Brooklyn. Pizza. But yeah, New Haven and pizza are definitely a thing. <laughs> this guy ain't playing. <laughs> he wants it to be known. <laughs> he wants his close up. Mike, Mike, Mike. <laughs> Mine. Mine. All right, I'm gonna give him a half a bone. You ready? Yeah. I hope he got ah, it. Ah, you didn't get it. You didn't get it? Nah, he got robbed. There's a little crumb for you, my friend. <laughs> can they catch it in the air? Yeah, they can. Oh, he did. I hope he got that on camera. <laughs> nah. No more motherfuckers. <laughs> Oh, the one that didn't get it. Yeah. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Go to McDonald's. <laughs> ain't no French fries here. <laughs> I ain't, ain't no French fries here. I seen you guys. I know you ate today.
You like feeding them birds? Yeah. It's a nice thing to do. You want to get your angel wings and fly like a bird? <laughs> Seagulls are freaking crazy. Fire her up. Bless you. Are we on? I'm ready, Freddy. No, are we on? Yes, we're on. Okay. We're being recorded on the way home, the last part. Anything you want to say? Me? It was very good. Some parties. Some parties to the party. But there's a lot of pizza places, definitely, man. There's too many. There's too many. That's a lot of episodes. <laughs> you don't want to be another pizza review guy. Nah, that's what I don't want to do. There's enough pizza reviews out there on YouTube, on Facebook. But you know, we're just gonna cook across it all the time. It's just in our face. It's yeah. part of New Haven, but hey. Absolutely. Oh man, I forgot. I probably I almost have we almost split it in half. There's like two pieces left. <laughs> if you eat one and I eat one, it'll be half right down the middle, man. I don't think I can, man. What about the dog? <laughs> no, you can't have cheese. Cheese isn't good for him. No cheese. It's not even supposed to have the crust, really. Why? What's wrong with the crust? I don't know. It's some car bullshit. I don't know. I don't, know. I don't give him the cheese because of the salt. Mm. We drink it a lot. It's not good for him, yeah. Probably not good for us either, dude. No, but it's good. <laughs> That's life, though. That's the good life. <laughs> How about over here with the West Haven Mall? Yeah, yeah, I canceled it. They sure did, right? Yep. So what are they gonna do with these old houses? I have no fucking. Fix them up and sell them or not? They're probably them down. gonna they knock go them. Well, look, they're not the that public here. factory now. They're probably just gonna knock them down and sell oh, the property. Yeah. They're gonna do more than what the construction company should have at least <coughs> knocked them down while they sat on it the whole time, right? Yes. This is the most work that they've been doing down here in a long it's time. It's been a while, yeah. There's just bulldozers sitting there for no reason. February 2nd, 2023. It's about time they start taking them buildings down. <laughs> Somebody can go look up the article. I don't know how long it's been. A good 10 years, right? Close. So like, somewhere around there. They bought them homes a long time ago and did nothing. Pushed all those people out. It's like what they did in uh, New Haven in the 60s with the Oak Street and all that. 50s and 60s. Well, I mean, what the hell were they Urban saying? renewal of West Haven. The great urban renewal of West Haven. Who the fuck wants to go to a mall in West Haven? Who wants to go to a mall in West Haven? <laughs> I agree, bro. There's one in Milford, right? Right next door which to the town over. Which is dying. Which is dying. All the malls are, right? Yeah, because the rent is stupid. Now there will always be the stores for the women. What do you mean dying? It's dying? People Just are like, it's not, busy it's not worth it with online. Yeah. Most people are on Amazon for sure. Getting them shipped right to the house. Did you hear about the drones? The delivery drone? That's not going to work out. Dude. I think it'll work out. No Actually, way, not. dude. I would hit that with a baseball bat and steal <laughs> the package. <laughs> That's like hitting a UPS truck with a baseball bat. You wouldn't do that. You get in trouble. I'm sure some people will do it. Just like you got the porch pirates. <laughs> yeah. Don't call them like something. Porch pirates. The drone batters. Hi. 
$3,000 fine for drone batting. <laughs> What's up, buddy? What are you doing, Grant? So we're almost there, man. I gotta go into my job site. But I'll give you one more plug. It's Grifter the Hound Signore. S-I-G-N-O-R-A on Facebook. He finds a lot of, a lot of missing dogs. A pretty good track record, right? Eh, yeah. It's not huge, but it's not bad. Adam, you went to an obedience school? No school. Self-taught. Yeah? You taught him? Yep. Like, would you give him some underwear to sniff and say, here, go find the skunk? <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> I mean, they know what to do. You just need to teach them how to tell you they did what they're supposed to do. Mm. Gotta be in tune with them. Yeah. And the earlier the better? Yeah, well, I had him since he was 10 weeks old. Yeah, the earlier you get him, the better. And what time did you start training him? Right away, right? Yeah. Everything was an interaction training. Yeah. Dragging a sock across the yard and hiding it. Now, I seen on, online, you just, who was a uh, copper or Cooper? Copper? Cooper. Cooper? Yeah. So you were helping somebody find a home? Yeah, I fostered him for a couple weeks. And he's got his forever home now. He does. He's out there on a ranch with horses. And... Nice. Cooper? Is yeah. that the dog from the Fox and the Hound? Um, I think so. Some Disney movie. Mm. <laughs> That's a good life, man, for a dog on a ranch with horses. And he's got other big dogs, goats, and he's like... Couldn't be happier. I did my little part this year already. You're trying for the main points, aren't you? <laughs> you want to come back as a seagull? As a what? A seagull. I don't want to come back there. <laughs> <laughs> Might be better for something else, man. Maybe like a little worm out in the woods and it never ever comes in contact with humans. Chased by birds. <laughs> Get chased by the birds. <laughs> so you're looking forward to heaven or you're not even thinking about a heaven? I am. Uh, I'm agnostic. I don't. So that means whatever. Just prove it. Just show me. Yeah. You'll you'll see it if you if you see it you'll believe it. I'm pretty close to atheist. Yeah. Which is only one way to find out, man. <laughs> Am I turning right here? No, you're going to go straight. There's only one way to find out. <laughs> Mix. Remember when it was Pizza Hut? <laughs> I remember when it was Pizza Hut. I went there one time. I'll always remember it. They had the Pac-Man, the flat one. I do remember the Pac-Man. <laughs> Stop it. Gonna turn right. Oh, we're getting on the highway. No, but it's easy for you. Every day is too much. Maybe once a week. I could probably do once a week. Straight, right, left. I'll take a right. Alright, All right, well, this is Mr. New Haven, and this is my guest, Matt, from episode four. Peace. Peace out.